Hello, the Darkness 344 here. Today I'm going to be showing you about the XOR gate and the adders. So, uh, some of you may not really know how these adders worked. I built one of these in one of my last videos, uh, somewhere over there. I don't actually know. And yeah, they're basically a simple adder. It's a very simple one, comprising of two XOR gates and a carry line. Oh, and also AND gates on top of the XOR gates. So, you're probably wondering if, well, if you're watching this video, of course, if, if you know about this already, then you feel free to continue watching. You don't really have to, though, because I'll probably be covering what you know already. So, an XOR gate uh, is a binary gate that, let me quickly do a truth table right now. So, this is uh, 0 and this is 1. So, if your input is uh, zero, 0, so say your input's zero, 0, it will output 0. If your input's zero, 1, it will output a 1. If your input is 1, 0, it will output a 1. And if your input is 1, 1, it will output a 0. So that's a basic truth table, so the concrete is zeros and the stone is ones, and these are your output. So, that's, sorry, bad explanation right there. But pretty much happened, yeah, so I'll show you here. So if I put in, so zero, 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 one, one, uh, one, zero, one, but one, one is a zero. So for an adder, we want one, one, to go on to the next one. If it's just one, it can stay because that's what we want, because it's just one, it doesn't need to be added. But if we want another one, we want it to go to the next decimal place for binary addition. The way we do this is use an AND gate, where 00, zero is 0, zero 01 is 0, 10 zero is 0, but 11 one one is 1. So this basically uh, gets rid of this problem and you can have 1 1 as 1 but this can be your carry because this isn't linked up to the output of this this can be linked up to whatever basically so we do this by creating an AND gate on top of this adder so what we do we refer to one adder well one XOR gate or XOR gate as a half bit adder because it only adds basically half a bit and then we build another XOR gate in front of this with the output, the output connecting up to one of the inputs into your second XOR gate. The other input, however, it would be connected up to your carry. The way you make a carry is on your first XOR gate, you have on this section, so if it's 1, 1, this will turn on. And this would be your output, because if any other combination, it is off, as you can see. But when it's 1, 1, it turns on. This, we can raise up up to here, just so you, and then insert, to power these ones, you just put torches on the side as well, so it powers here, and this one powers here. This we can raise up to here. On this side, instead of raising it up, because you just you want to keep it around this way, instead of raising it up and putting it there, to save space, we can just put a torch here, because it pretty much does the same thing because it still gets powered by this one, because it powers into here, because this redstone torch powers this block, which powers this redstone, which powers this block, and this redstone torch powers this block, which in turn turns on, on the torch or off the torch. So they, And then you just make an AND gate by putting this here and this into here. So, yeah, well, it, and then the other component of the AND gate would be these torches and stuff. And so your output would be this because this is so because this this basically not is the not output of you so it's a NAND gate basically so if you have uh, zero zero it's a zero well if you have one one it's a zero so okay pretend these are zero and pretend this is your output pretend this is an AND gate so uh, say you have zero 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 one zero one zero zero but one one equals one and so your AND gate will turn on or NAND gate or whatever 
And so you can bring this and put it into the second bit, second of your XOR gate, and this is your second half, the second part of your half bit adder. So you have a half bit plus a half bit is a full bit, and basically your extra bit, if you add two bits together, so you have one and one equals two. So instead of going to one, because if you just do one, zero one equals one and one zero equals one and zero zero equals zero. But if you do one and one, it's two. So it goes down here and into the second bit adder, second half bit at well, se yeah, second adder. And since there's no twos being added to this, so it's only one and zero, it will equal one again. So one, two, four, eight, sixteen, and plus. So yeah, that's basically the half bit adder. Say so you have a two and a two, that's four. So four will turn on, as you can see, through the carry. But say you have a three, which is one and two on the A, because this is input A and this is input A, input B, input A, input B. So you have three, which is one on A and two on A as well, plus one is four, as you can see. 3 plus 2 is 5, as you can see. So that is the basics of your XOR gate and your half bit adder. I mean your full bit adder even. So yeah, this was a quick video, but just to help you guys out if you need to know how to make one of these. Like, uh, yeah, I have a video of how to make one of these. I can, I'll show you real quick as well. But it's basically two, half, two XOR gates with a carry line connecting them. So I'll just build this. So first of all, you're gonna go like this. First torch, 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 torch. Uh, redstone, redstone. And these are your inputs. So input A and input B. We're gonna put levers down here. So once you've got this, which basically is a glorified version of a repeater. This is what they used to use when repeaters weren't a thing in bedrock. Then you're gonna go like this because you want your zero, I mean you want your ones on this side and your higher numbers that side because it goes this way. But I mean it goes from high to low, not low to high. I mean not high to low that way. So yeah, well, never mind. Then you put a block, 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 and instead of putting your resident torch here, since you need it up the higher to put in the knot gate, you can put it up here and just put it around like this. And to power this, you just put a piece of redstone and these two watches power that. Then, this is your output. You're going to build another gate with your input not connected. So, this is your input A will not be connected, but it will be connected to input B. So, you do pretty much the same thing, except when you reach this point, instead of blocking up again like you did on that one, since you don't need it because you don't need an extra carry line, do you? Because you're never going to get an extra carry line because this is a half bit adder. You just put a torch here and redstone there. And that is your first, well, almost full bit adder. The only other thing you have to do is bring a piece of torch here and this, oops, repeaters, this would be your carry line. And this is your output, by the way. So if we do 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 1, 1, 1 is 1, 0, and 0, 1, 0 is 1. And this, to connect these up so you have a big adder, what you do, you pretty much just build the same thing right next to it. So you're going to put more blocks down like this. And I do have a video on how to build this. But I'm just going to do it in this video, just in case you don't know and you don't want to click on my other video. Because I'm probably not going to put the link in the description because I'm lazy. So, you have this, right? Hang on, let me just let me just finish the rest of it because yeah for oh sake so it's nearly finished and you block up for your carry then you have your torches remember and you have your redstone dust on top so you want your carry to go into this second half bit adder let's put the output here but how do you do that because of course what you're gonna do make sure this is blocked off so the carries don't link you're basically just going to put more blocks down here and have your carry lead right into there to make and then you'll have your blocks here blocks down here and your next carry will lead into the next one like that and your next one will be here but you don't want this carry going into this one as well 
like this one as well. So what you're going to do, you're going to have to put blocks right here. Make sure it's in the correct position. So these redstone link up to this torch and also this torch, and it leads down into this one on the second bit adder. So input A on the second half bit adder. So yeah, that's basically how to add them. And on your last half bit adder, if you want to keep the carry without having to build another adder, you can just bring it off like this and you have another one. So just for convenience sake. So I hope you liked this simple explanation. So yeah, please like and subscribe and I am out.